All right, welcome back to Eagle News International. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said that the federal government will now begin implementing stronger quarantine measures for those arriving from abroad. Let's find out from Thomas I. Likeness. Thomas. With more than 26,000 cases of COVID-19 in the country, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau wants to make sure the virus isn't hitching a ride on foreign arrivals. Now, Trudeau says it's not enough to tell people at the border to self-quarantine. He says now when somebody arrives at a port of entry, they must produce a credible quarantine plan. Uh, the order that goes in tonight is a strengthening of the Quarantine Act orders uh, to give uh, authorities the ability upon evaluation of the uh, person entering Canada's plan to uh, self-quarantine. Uh, if it is inadequate, they will be required uh, to quarantine in a hotel. Uh, examples of things that could be inadequate, for example, if their plan is to go stay in a place uh, where there are uh, many elderly family members at risk of COVID-19, uh, or whether they uh, don't have uh, a uh, set destination if they've been outside of the country for many years, we now have the authority to uh, require them uh, to self-isolate for two weeks uh, in uh, a quarantine location like a hotel. Trudeau advises anyone planning to come to Canada to make their quarantine arrangements in advance. Now, the government is also helping farmers and food processors who employ migrant farm workers. You see, each year about 60,000 people come to Canada on temporary visas. They come here from other countries to work on farms and in food processing plants. And like all others coming to Canada, they have to be quarantined for 14 days. To help offset the cost of this, since they can't work until after the quarantine, the government is giving employers money to supplement the salaries of the migrant workers and also to help pay for the quarantine accommodation. Here's the COVID-19 situation in Canada. We've reported more than 26,000 cases of the infection. Sadly, there have been more than 820 deaths. Ontario and especially Quebec are the two provinces most affected they account for 80% of the cases in Canada, more than 21,000. The virus is ravaging the seniors' population. It's, it's hit dozens of nursing homes in both provinces. There's a report that in Ontario, in one nursing home, there's been 19 deaths, and 73 of the home's 101 residents have tested positive for COVID-19. It seems these homes are having trouble hiring enough people. You see, in an effort to control the disease, workers are now not allowed to work at more than one facility. One job, one facility, that's it. And this has created part of the shortage. Others, well, they're simply walking off the job because they can't take the stress. They say it's too hard to look death in the face every day. Our chief public health officer, Dr. Teresa Tam, says half of the COVID-19 deaths are linked to long-term care facilities you know, some provinces like mine have actually banned all visitors from these homes. Now, this story falls into something, uh, I would say, into the category of do as I say, not as I do. You see, our national leaders have been telling us we must follow the rules. But then they turn around and exempt themselves. I'll give you an example. This past holiday weekend, public health officials told us not to travel, not to visit, to stay in our communities, don't, don't go anywhere else, stay in our homes, don't visit friends, don't visit relatives. Message is pretty clear. All right, first of all, on Saturday, we have two top politicians here, the opposition leader and, and the prime minister. Well, Saturday, the opposition leader, his name's Andrew Scheer, he had to go to the capital of Ottawa for important parliamentary business. And, and that's allowed, that's important. He should be there. So he got on the government chartered plane to go to Ottawa except he brought his wife and kids with him. They're supposed to be at home, not going to Ottawa with them to do some sightseeing. You see, we the unwashed are told we can't do things like that. So the following day, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau decides the rules don't apply to him either. Now, this is funny because at his daily briefing today, this is what he told us. We all need to do our part. We can't let up now. So to everyone, Stay at home. I think that message is pretty clear. Stay at home. But Mr. Prime Minister, why do you not follow that advice? Why, why didn't you do that this past weekend? Why did you drive to another community? 
Uh, as I uh, mentioned last week in my, uh, my presentation, uh, after three weeks of my family living up at, uh, at Harrington uh, and me working here, I uh, went to join them for, for Easter. Uh, we continue to follow all the instructions from public health authorities. Again, why isn't your family with you in that mansion you're standing in front of where you live, Mr. Prime Minister? Again, a case of do as I say, not as I do. In the meantime, I wish you all good health. Take care of others and take care of yourselves. Stay home, stay safe, and stay tuned to Eagle News for accurate and balanced coverage of the COVID-19 pandemic. Thomas I. Likeness, Eagle News, we live in interesting times.